New, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness featurette highlights Wanda's return synopsis Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Marvel's first horror work shortly after the season finale of the Hawkeye series premiered on Disney Plus Hotstar, Marvel released the first poster and teaser trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. As part of Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU, the film is scheduled to premiere in June 2022. The sequel to the Doctor Strange movie will be a continuation of some of the events that occurred in the series and previous Marvel films, such as WandaVision, Loki, Spider-Man, No Way Home. In the film Doctor Strange in The Multiverse of Madness, the audience will be invited to dive deeper into the concept of the multiverse or multi-universe which is the main theme of Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness tells the story of Doctor Strange or Benedict Cumberbatch, who continues his research on the Time Stone. However, an old friend, who has now turned into an enemy, would come to interfere with his plans. Judging from the teaser trailer released by Marvel, Mordo, Chuitel Egeo 4, will be one of Doctor Strange's enemies in this film. In addition, the presence of Wanda or Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen, in the teaser trailer and official poster also makes many fans suspect that Wanda will play an important role. The teaser trailer also shows the appearance of another version of Doctor Strange, namely Evil Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which is predicted to be Marvel's first horror film, is directed by Sam Raimi, director of three older Spider-Man films, starring Tobey Maguire, in addition to Benedict Cumberbatch, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and Elizabeth Olsen, the film will also star Benedict Wong, Rachel McAdams, Xochitl Gomez, as well as a slew of other supporting characters and cameos that have yet to be confirmed by Marvel. Judging from the rumors in cyberspace regarding the upcoming cameo, it seems that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will be a film worth waiting for, especially for die-hard Marvel fans. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is set to premiere on May 6, 2022 in the United States. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness Featurette teases return of the Red Witch with just a week left, before Marvel Studios dives deep into the multiverse. A new feature of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness has been revealed. Featuring some new footage, the features you can check out below highlight the long-awaited return of Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff or Scarlet Witch. It features commentary by Raimi, Olsen, Kevin Feige Dot and Benedict Cumberbatch as they tease Wanda's journey from WandaVision to the upcoming film, as well as alternative versions of the anti-hero. In the film, the MCU opens up the multiverse and pushes its boundaries even further than before, the synopsis. Journey into the unknown with Doctor Strange, who, with the help of mystical allies both old and new, traverse the confusing and dangerous alternate reality of the multiverse to face a mysterious new foe. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness sees the return of Benedict Cumberbatch in his role as Doctor Stephen Strange. This time, the Sorcerer Supreme will be joined by Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda Maximoff, who eventually transforms into the Scarlet Witch during the WandaVision finale. Additional cast includes MCU alumni, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Benedict Wong, and Rachel McAdams who reprise their roles as Carl Mordo, Wong, and Dr. Christine Palmer. It will also feature the live-action debut of Marvel America hero Chavez, who will be played by newcomer Xochitl Gomez or The Babysitter's Club. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is directed by Sam Raimi on Spider-Man Trilogy, from a scripted script by Emmy-winning writer Michael Waldron as Loki. It is executive produced by Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige. According to film ratings, Marvel Studios' highly anticipated Marvel Cinematic Universe sequel Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. 
has been officially rated PG-13 from the MPAA. For sequences of intense violence and action, terrifying graphics and multiple language, this only continues to enhance the dark tone and horror aspect of the Sam Raimi-directed superhero film, which the studio promised when it was first announced during the last Comic-Con panel in 2019. The film is slated to premiere on May 6, 2022. Its current theatrical release will pit the superhero film without direct competition but it will still debut the same month as three other hit films such as the Firestarter remake Blumhouse, Disney's Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, Guns Top Paramount, Maverick. It seems, Sam Raimi appears, crazy, in this latest film. He shows that he is still a capable director with distinctive characteristics. All the characteristics that are closely related to the director's style appear in this two-hour five-minute film. In fact, in the hands of Sam Raimi, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness became the most unique MCU film for writers. Since the first Guardians of the Galaxy, the latest Doctor Strange film is not only conceptually insane, but also horror-packed and full of disturbing Raimi comedy. I believe that the monsters that hunt America are the result of witchcraft. To Wanda, Strange asks for her help to protect America from being hunted by multiversal monsters. To Strange's surprise, it's Wanda who hunts America down. Strange dreams that he is being hunted by a multiversal monster. In the dream, he ran away with a teenage girl. Strange did not survive that dream, he was murdered. Even so, the teenager who ran with him managed to escape by breaking through the multiverse gate to another world. The event was not a dream. The teenager, America Chavez or Xochitl Gomez, is actually being chased by a monster and escaped to the world of the MCU as we know it. Strange managed to save him, assisted by Wong, Benedict Wong, who is now a Scorcerer Supreme. To Strange, America admitted to being hunted for being able to cross multiple multiverses. And there is an evil force that wants it. Although unique, this is more or less due to its multiverse elements that are difficult to understand. Wanda wants America's power to kidnap her two children, Billy, Julian Hilliard, and Tommy, Jeff Klein, from another universe. The multiverse concept offers a variety of unexpected possibilities, including fanservice moments that have been the mainstay of the MCU so far. This potential was explored, but not optimally due to problematic storytelling. Storytelling Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is really fast. Each plot is delivered so quickly with little room for the viewer to make sense of what is on the screen. Some characters even appear in vain because they don't have enough time to show their abilities. This is fatal for viewers who have never consumed MCU products before, which also touches on the issue of the multiverse. Some of these include Loki, WandaVision, and What If. The script by Michael Waldron, who also produced the Loki series, exacerbates these deficiencies. The script that he worked on did not fully explore the elements of the multiverse. As a result, the multiverse is more like just a background in this film than an integral element that offers uniqueness or sharp plot twists. Raimi also treats his camera like a musical instrument to dramatize the scene. When the game starts, the camera is tilted, motion blur is introduced, and the focus is placed on the body parts of the characters that appear. The focus can be on the hands, feet, or eyes, similar to how comics try to emphasize dramatic moments. Fortunately, these weaknesses are covered by the technical side that shows Sam Raimi's ability as a director. As said at the beginning, everything that characterizes Sam Raimi is in this film. The director of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, technically, is so unique that even those who are unfamiliar with Sam Raimi can feel how different this film is from other MCU films. Honestly, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is more horror than its prequel. There are lots of horror elements in this film, from body horror, supernatural horror, to slasher. Some parts are even straight up in the form of homage to the Evil Dead trilogy which is also Raimi's work. For those of you who are worried that the horror element will suffer because of the PG-13 rating, 
you can put it to rest. Raimi makes good use of the PG-13 rating limits so what you will see is not just a jump scare, but more than that. Talking about horror elements, it's not complete if you don't mention Danny Elfman's name. Raimi and Tim Burton's regular composers are credited with adding extra spice to Raimi's horror elements. In fact, he makes crazy compositions for the musical battle, yes, you read that right, which is present in the film. It's not wrong to say Elfman and Raimi are a dangerous combination. All in all, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is 10% of the MCU films and 90% of Raimi's films. Sam Raimi seems to be given the freedom to treat the Doctor Strange franchise as he pleases but still within the limits of the MCU story. The result is an MCU film that feels fun and fresh. Unfortunately, this film is less than optimal in storytelling due to the fast storytelling and narrow space for reasoning the story. The multiverse elements are even more like a patch. If this film was half an hour longer, maybe the result would be even more fun.